Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Outward. Okay, I think the first thing I need to do today is say a massive thank you to everyone who watched my last video. It's currently sitting at 26,000 views, which is a lot for a video that isn't Kingdom Come Deliverance on the channel. So a major thank you to everyone. So I think it's only right that we continue playing Outward. Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home! Right, well, um, unfortunately, I was stranded on an island in the middle of nowhere without anything, and I had to find my own pants and everything. It was not a nice experience. Also, killer wolves. Terrifying killer wolves. You do not want to be where I've been. And the first thing you do is ask me for money? I think that's absolutely bloody ridiculous. Yeah. You were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? I just want to make it very clear, I wasn't the one driving the boat, although I may have been. I was very drunk and I can't remember much of that night. If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home! Right, well, unfortunately I like this home, so I'd rather keep it, thank you. Enough of this! Twelve people are dead! Stop this shameful behavior at once. Yeah, she told you guys. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're talking to me. Oh, god dang it. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. I noticed. Yes, they didn't seem too happy, did they? The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. How about the next 80 years or so? I'd love to live here the rest of my life. Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor and they won't be able to touch you. Or, or five days. That, that works too. So yeah, as you heard there, they're going to kick me out of my house in five days, so we need to get on this quickly. I don't really know of any other RPG that starts you on a time limit, but thankfully, I know how we can stop this from happening. As the woman said, there is a tribal favor that we could do, and that is what we're going to do today, as well as quickly showing you this town. As I said before, there is no mini-map. Well, we do get this singular map here and it does tell us all the locations of the different people we need to speak to but unfortunately it does not show us where we are i think we're around here right now so yeah you're going to have to learn this town off by heart and honestly it doesn't take that long i think it's more interesting that way because you actually have to explore and you have to meet everyone and physically go to all these different places to learn where these places are because that's what you'd have to do in real life so the first thing i want to do is head over to here and pick up a couple of these recipes so yeah we've got some crafting recipes here for uh, leather hat leather boots leather attire so that is going to come in useful in combat also i would highly recommend coming to see this man here. Here's Arago, the master chef. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to talk, please. Can you lend me a hand? So he is asking for a certain meal. Now, if you remember the last video, I found the recipe for this exact meal. Yes. Also, make sure to read all of your recipes because then they will be in your crafting menu. So what I want to do is go to him quickly and I want to buy this raw rainbow trout off of him and also some salt unfortunately i don't think he has any salt on him so we're just going to get that and then we're going to head down to the market and buy ourselves some salt now there are two different people you can talk to you can of course talk to the standard goods trader here or you can talk to the alchemist now we're just going to talk to the alchemist hey, seeing as i'm here i want to buy something and then i'm going to buy some salt off of you so we're going to buy that and confirm transaction salt is always good to have especially when you're making meals so try and get as much of it as you can also in the goods trader it is very good to get your hands on a nomad backpack as quickly as possible so that is 25 and unfortunately we only have 10 right now but what i want to do at the moment is just buy the rest of the salt that they have we can do that we can buy three of those that's absolutely fine and then i'm gonna head back home and create the meal now we can buy a cooking pot but unfortunately i don't have the money to do that as well as that we can also buy an alchemy station there is a lot of stuff that we just don't get given we actually have to make money to be able to buy and i really like that because it's more of a progression system you're working towards these things also we're going to take these gabberies here 
and then head back into our house. And there it is. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any seaweed. I could have sworn I picked up some seaweed, so that is very annoying. I'm gonna have to go and find some seaweed a minute. So we've made our way to the beach. Unfortunately, there is no seaweed here, so we're gonna have to look for that elsewhere. But there is something very useful. There is a water skin right here, so if we were to take that and then gather clean water into our water skin, we can do that a couple of times here. Um, that should be enough. So yeah, our water skin is now full, and then we can also drink some clean water. And this is always here, so you guys can fill up your water whenever you need to. You're probably wondering why I'm doing this random cook quest now. Well, it's because by the end of this quest, you're going to have learnt the location of most of the people in this area. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to pick up the machete that's jabbed into that wood there. Okay, so as my luck is absolutely bloody terrible, no one appears to sell any form of seaweed, so we're actually going to have to go to the beach to find some. Now, to leave the town, you have to talk to this man, Bragg, so I'm going to talk to him a minute. Well, you got the essentials at least. Here. I'll teach you a skill. Now, currently, I only have the machete, and he's going to teach us a skill for the weapon that we have equipped. Now, I recommend you don't do this. I personally have another save where I've got a better weapon. But I recommend getting the weapon that you want to use, because he will give you a skill for that certain weapon. There but we're just going to go ahead and learn puncture on our machete. So here we are in the open world of Outward. And we're finally out of the town gate, so now we can finally explore a little bit. Now, if we head down here the beach is a little bit further down when you take the right path out of town make sure to come this way because there is a barrel here or a form of chest where you can get some cool items now this is RNG from what I know so it may be different for you but we do have some arrows um, some spikes and some iron scrap now last time I did this I ended up getting bullets um, but unfortunately I didn't get any bullets that time so that kind of sucks also, if you need any wood, of course, gather it from any tree around the area. Now, if I remember correctly, there are two wolves around here, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. There are humans. I don't remember seeing any people here last time. I'm not sure if they're friendly or not, so I'm going to steer clear from them. Don't want to get killed in our first bloody quest. That would suck. Personally, my character is not really ready for this, but we can kill two birds with one stone here because not only are we going to be able to get ourselves some seaweed, but we're also going to be able to complete the quest to be able to keep our house. Now, oddly, the wolves do not appear to be here, which is very weird. Good for me, but uh, not good for you guys because you probably want to see some action, but uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case today. So we can probably just slide down here. That's absolutely fine. I'm keeping an eye out right now for some form of seaweed. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, gather as much seaweed as you can because that comes in useful with certain meals. And meals are very helpful for your character's health, obviously. So right down here is the person that we need to talk to. Now, they are hurt and need some form of help. I can't... I can't move. A pistol shrimp got me. Thankfully, I have a bandage spare, so I'm going to give him a bandage. Hold still, I've got a bandage for you. I can feel it working. Oh, thank you, lad. I'm not going to die here. Oh, thanks a bunch. So by doing this, we have cleaned our record and we have done the tribal favour. Ow. I don't think I'm fit to run back home just yet. So we just leave him here. I'm guessing he'll be okay. But we're going to head back to town. Okay, so I've made my way a little bit further down the beach here, and uh, you guys can see there is a cave here. Now, there is another way to get to this area, and I'll show you that when we get back into town, because that is a perfect place to get some pretty good items, and also you can train and practice against a couple of enemies. But right now, we need to head back to the village and finish these two quests. Two guys down there. I don't know if they're friendly or not. They might be bandits. I'm not sure, so I'm going to try and stay out of their line of sight right now. It's always better to be careful than uh, running into people like that. Okay, they've got their backs turned. All right, we, we, we should be fine. No, in my luck, they're probably just bloody town guards, but unfortunately, that may not be the case. So due to the popularity of this game on the channel, I am going to be starting to do patch note videos as well as bug fix videos and stuff like that so i do those quite a lot with kingdom come deliverance and i thought it might be cool to do those for this game as well 
So yes, make sure to subscribe because I will be doing those as soon as we know anything. I will let you guys know. Okay, so we're back at the town square here. Um, if you look down here, there is a path that goes under our lighthouse. And yes, that door over there, that is a storage area which leads into that cavern. So yeah, go through there. I would recommend doing it that way. It's only because we didn't have any seaweed and I wanted to get there as quickly as possible. So we're now back home. I'm going to make this meal quickly for the master cook and let's do this a second so go to the kitchen and then go down to that and then craft and there you go so uh, we've done that and we can now take that back to him but before we do that we need to finish this major quest because of course right now they don't know that we've saved a person's life so we probably need to go to the town hall and tell the person also, just before we enter here, there is a great axe. I, I probably should have picked that up beforehand, but unfortunately I forgot that was there. Okay, and the person that we need to talk to is sat right here in the town hall. You have a way to make that payment. Show me. Well, I got this tribal favour off a man who'd been stung by a jellyfish or something, so here you go. And on time, too. I'm impressed. Well done. Siezo thanks you for your great deed. So we have thankfully saved our hope. That is awesome. I'm now going to go and give the chef this meal. Can I help you? Yes, I brought the meal you wanted. Here, a gift. So there you go. He gave us some fancy ocean fricassee. So yeah, that has superior egg and fish dish with healing properties, which restores health, stamina, and mana. That is going to come in very useful during the game. But as we look out over this absolutely stunning sunset, I want to say a big Thank you to everyone who's watched this video today. I'll be back very soon with a Kingdom Come Deliverance video, but if you want to see more Outward, make sure to tell me in the comments below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.